Eye Magazine is uh, a quarterly magazine, international magazine, um, for graphic designers and people interested in visual culture. But the founder of Eye Magazine was Rick Pointer, and uh, the design, uh, the art director then was Stephen Coates. Uh, I joined um, the end of the 90s, uh, first as managing editor and became the editor. And five years ago, uh, there was a very big change in our lives because Simon and I bought the magazine in a management buyout. It seemed like a good idea at the time, just, just a few months before the, a major financial crash. And uh, uh, But actually, we're, we're very happy we made that decision because we've gone from being a kind of expensive trade magazine, if you like, to being a, an indie magazine about design and visual culture. I think now it's possible to make a magazine with outsourced subscription management, outsourced advertising sales, so that really you you, you don't need those huge publishing structures yeah. anymore. We don't need a big machine. It, it, it can just be a couple of blokes in a room in Shoreditch. And it's much more agile and nimble, so decisions about how many pages or special things are taken incredibly quickly, basically be between us. It's amazing how you, you know, we, we see, as you say, we, we live with things, we see things coming in and being photographed and the files are being shunted around on screen. And it's amazing how an image will kind of jump out at you and say, I'm a, I'm a possible cover here, you know, you, and, and you just sort of file, <laughs> file that away. The kind of rule is be different from the last cover, just and, and in the case of this cover, I, I was actually at the, at the Repro House uh, working with, with John Godkin, who does all our photography and our retouching, and we, he was retouching this, this poster, mm. and he was doing it at such a huge scale that this just appeared as a kind of crop in, in, on the screen, and you'd just think, okay, that, that's the cover. I think there's still a lot of things you can do with print and with publishing and with the double page spread, and, and Simon Esterson, is the, the great doyen of the double page spread. Uh, you know, we did a talk for um, It's Nice That the other day, and uh, Simon was saying, you know, printing isn't retro. You know, it's, it, it, there's, still a, there's still a lot of new things that are being done with printing and paper, aren't there? Yeah, I, I've always done magazines. I, I love doing magazines. But I think, um, you know, it's, it's about using whichever bit of technology you're working with to its maximum, to its interesting, uh, you know, effects. And mostly, it's a question of, you know, getting the right people together to, 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 to do the job. And the thing I, people, people talk about, you know, magazines being over. Well, you know, they're not, it's the boring, it's the boring magazines that are over, it's the ones with no, you know, in other, in other fields we call it, you know, product innovation. So many magazines, they're just uh, re repeating what they've done before. A magazine is, is a kind of, it, it, it's a fantastic form of compressed publishing and it always changes. You know, it's not like we're always doing the same magazine. The, the next one, the content of the next issue of I is totally different to this one. And the one after that uh, will be all about food uh, and drink design. The one after that will be about the future of publishing. And we're just, it, each one of them is, is a completely, is a sort of massive challenge. And all the, <laughs> there's lots of people slaving over laptops as we speak, uh, finishing their articles for those. We hope.